Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the um, Texan PL990X on the shortwave bands along with the uh, PL680 and try compare the two say when you try to zero beat or on sync um, but for now I've picked um, 13845 which is WWCR from Nashville uh, USA the reason I picked this is because it's quite strong the most humanitarian person on the face of the earth you can um, but sometimes there can be some deep fading, but overall it is strong, but it'll give you an idea how the Texan sync copes with that. Again, I don't think uh, there's proper sync on the 990. I think all it does is just um, put it into upper sideband or lower sideband um, because DSP radios don't really work with... Um, with uh, sync and he completes our relationship with our creator through his his life and so his you can hear the fading life there in his resurrection jesus laid down his glory so he could show us his grace so if i put on sync any different than any other baby born that day he's just a sweet little baby now there's that distortion that i mentioned in like previous video He had in heaven, he laid that aside so he could show us his grace. So what are we to do with all this? What are we to do with this information that this good news comes about? Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them so you can hear how bad that sounds, which is really disappointing because it is better uh, than the 880, but it's remarkable considering Texan had since the PL880 to sort out that issue with DSP. Um, now, the same can also be seen on the... Um, uh, uh, I, I'm trying to remember that radio. It's the... Um, Oh, I can't think of it right now. It's it's a small little radio. Oh yeah, the X XH Data D eight O eight. Now it's not quite as bad, but it's still there and SSB doesn't sound great. So zero beating with the uh, XH Data D eight O eight is is pretty much um similar with similar distortion. Now it isn't quite as bad as on the Texans, even the nine ninety. It's um but it's still there. And I believe some of the, the Eaton radios, uh, DSP radios, it's the same. It's probably the exact same chip in all of these radios. Never been updated, probably in all those years. They were up all night. And they had a long distance just to get into Bethlehem to go see this thing. But they made it with haste. And it says, and when they had seen him. Now, if you're listening at night time to a very weak station, and there's a stronger station, um close by or an interfering noise source press an upper side band or lower side band can usually get rid of that called zero beating um and it can also help against the fading of, as we've seen here you must experience for yourself but if the station you're trying to listen to is a lot weaker then that distortion isn't as much of a problem but it says and they made widely known the same which i believe it's a it's an agc issue they went with haste to go find but Texan did have since the 880 to try and fix that or even if they improved their analog radio design but they just like to um, I suppose make the most out of the technology that they have so you can hear the difference in audio quality between uh, single sideband and AM someone you're enthralled by something you tell everyone about it well, the same is true with jesus if christ is coming to your life you're going to tell everyone okay i'm going to switch to the six but he belongs to all centuries okay we're on the born as a Jew, but he belongs to all races 680 he was born so i'll put it into sync this is a real sync detector all the nations. christ jesus is for all people uh, at all times for everyone who wants him Actually, I have to ask you this question. Do you know him? Do you really know him? 
have you experienced him like these shepherds did? We need the forgiveness of our sins. So Even you can hear in day, upper sideband how good it sounds. Needs to be forgiven. That's why Jesus Christ came into the world to sacrifice his life as a payment for your sin. But the good news is Jesus Christ makes a way for us to have peace with God. Lower sideband. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of good works, lest any man should boast. There's no salvation found any other way than through the name of Jesus Christ. It's him that we proclaim as our Lord and Savior. We bow our knee in his presence. We ask for his forgiveness. And he covers us and cleanses us and makes us into the children of God through his shed blood. And we're adopted into his family. Adopted into his kingdom. kingdom so this is a really good way to um, combat fading, say, if on the likes of WWCR. Uh, it's a very strong signal always here. But um, it, there can be quite deep fading as well so when you put it on upper sideband or lower sideband you can hear the difference are you a member of the kingdom of god go back to am do you know him do you really know him have you experienced him like these shepherds did do you know him do you know him personally what is your decision for christ today go to decisionforchrist.org and email pastor jim about your decision we encourage you to get involved in a local church that proclaims christ remember to go to decisionforchrist.org tell us about your decision so now we're using sync next week at the same time as we make our decision for christ this is tim robinson with decision for christ thank you so much for listening to today's broadcast we hope that it's been an encouragement to you and helps you with your walk with Jesus Christ. If you would like a free Bible in your language, go to our website, decisionforchrist.org. Give us your name and mailing address and what language you would like to receive the Bible in, and we will send it to you free of charge. We do not ask money from any of our listeners. We have people who take care of the cost of our broadcast. Just go to our webpage, decisionforchrist.org, and give us your name, mailing address, and what language you would like to receive the Bible in. Okay, so I'll go back to the night night. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh, but for the will of God. That phrase, the rest of his time, is one of the most sobering statements in the Bible. How will you spend... Sink. It's so important for us to all answer that question truthfully. How will we spend the rest of our time? The Bible tells us that we should change our mind about sin. The Bible uses the word repent. To so you can hear about how bad that sound. As I say, you might think, why would I listen to upper sideband or lower sideband on a shortwave station? Well, as I said there, to reduce fading, it can be very effective against fading. And also if there's... Um, Another station, say you're listening to a, a DX station somewhere far and it's weak, um, but there's another stronger station close by. Well, you hit upper sideband or lower sideband, and most of the time you can greatly eliminate or reduce that interfering noise. Um, but as you can see here on upper sideband or lower sideband, single sideband on the 990, it, uh, it doesn't sound good at all. And you've heard it on the 680. Today's broadcast has been an encouragement to you today. Go to our website, decisionforchrist.org, and go to our contact page and let us know where you heard the message. And you'd like to receive a free... Okay, well, I'll quickly go back to the 6 Reaching the world with the word. We are Worldwide Christian Radio. WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee, USA. We welcome you to Limitless. My name is Bishop Dexter D. Russell Sr., the host of this program. We thank God for his love and his mercies, his goodness and his blessings to us word. And like the scripture says, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for your listening audience and we're constantly praying for you that the good hand of the Lord will be upon you. And once again, that you will remember that by his stripes we're healed. By his stripes we are healed. So we thank God for all that he's done. We're continuing to talk about what, uh, what Jesus commands for the last days. What Jesus commands for the last days. 
So that's on single sideband. You can hear how clear, how good the audio sounds, how natural it sounds. And it still has a lot of quality in its audio. Um, so if you listen to this again. Father had loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. Now, while he's still if talking, I go over to the 990. You can see upper sideband. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy... You are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. May the Lord add a rich blessing to the reading of his word. Brothers and sisters, it behooves us... You can hear the quality difference immediately on the 990 on sideband. Um, and the filter... And you notice the 3 and the 4 kilohertz filter, there's absolutely no difference. And this was an issue on the uh, PL880 as well. The 3 and the 4 kilohertz filter sounded exactly the same. 4 kilohertz didn't work. It did nothing. So um, that doesn't help with audio quality either. I'll go back to 680. What we all need today, right now, is a fresh look at the Savior. That's why when John the Baptist saw Jesus coming, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. The scripture says in regards to Jesus that he is the good shepherd, the chief shepherd, and the great shepherd. And then David said in Psalms 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So that's how good the 680 sounds on sideband compared to the PL990. So if you're looking for a radio, um, that's pretty good on all of the bands. Um, this radio on long wave and medium wave with its internal antenna is actually pretty good. Obviously, the external antenna doesn't work on long wave with this ant uh, radio via the external socket. Medium wave, it kind of improves, but it's not really connected to it. Um, it's probably a grounding feature of the of the antenna itself that slightly improves medium wave. Uh, on short wave, then there's no comparison between the Bonito and any internal antenna or even a just long random length of wire. The Bonito is just a superb match for these portable radios. And yes, they can overload sometimes. So just put your antenna switch in local or DX. Um, the PL680 I think can be got for around $100 on anonco.com uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really good radio I have to say good pure analog sound not mutilated by um, DSP however the 990 does sound good on the 990 does sound good on AM and on medium wave long wave and the fact that the external antenna greatly improves improves medium wave and long wave is a very good plus um, on the 990. Um, short wave, yeah, it's good in short wave, but the issue with the single sideband, uh, if you're a true short wave DXer, then the 680 is definitely the radio for you because you can hear how good the sound is on sideband. And you need sideband when you're listening to shortwave. You need to zero up beat at times when you're trying to weed out a station that's down in the mud between different stations uh, or beside another station or some noise source. Then your single sideband becomes essential. And it works on long wave and medium wave as well. But it just works so much better on the 680. So if I think for the true DXer, um, the 680 is definitely better. When signals are weak, the distortion is not nearly as much of a problem on the, the the 990, but if stations are strong and you're trying to reduce fading, then um, the distortion can be really irritating. And in the next video, I'll I'll um, go through some of the amateur bands. So thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts and opinions.